unworthiness. The most fundamental aspect of all the conditioning that makes up the illusion of personhood is unworthiness. From that grow the branches of shame, guilt, and remorse, and from there every fear that manifests as the false self. For thousands of years the feminine energy took the brunt of overt unworthiness influences as the dysfunctional masculine patriarchal world dominated. The images and icons of this house of cards still radiate the odor of this imbalance in every corridor of society, but now only for a little while longer while this disparity prevails. Nevertheless, the obvious unworthiness or less-than beliefs associated with a so-called man's world toward women is a very tiny aspect of the deeper unworthiness influence that touches virtually every feeling and behavior of the false self's world. As an example, in my own case, when I once lived the life of the rich and famous, I still danced with unworthiness. I would go into a high-end men's clothing shop and choose an item I liked, and then wait for it to go on sale, depriving myself of the experience of abundance, which is a facet in the diamond of truth that I and everyone is. I could at the time afford to buy the entire shop, but as an underlying feeling of not deserving, a branch on the tree of unworthiness prevented me from feeling abundant. Unworthiness originated at the moment our consciousness fell from the awareness that we are God. When the God we are chose to know itself out of the nothingness in which it, we, existed, it created everything that is, or could be. Within that creation, the world and humanity manifested. In order for it, or us, to know itself completely, it chose to forget itself for a moment eons in our clock time. In this way, humanity as God, animating limitless bodies and minds, could function within the temporary dream world universe it had created not knowing it was God. Everything would be unknown and new. However, the first feeling was that of separation, and from that, fear. From that stark terror of being separated consciously from the God that we are, the feeling of being unworthy sprang up and from there anger and hatred toward God, our self, for abandoning us. From there guilt, remorse, and shame for hating God. Every unconscious false self that ever walked this dream world has carried these toxic beliefs, and they've tainted every thought, word, and deed since, coloring what could be and certainly will be the indescribable beauty that this dream world really is. Unworthiness, then, is just a false belief that has grown limitless tentacles, strangling our joy and suppressing our spontaneity. It is a giant illusion, and its time is very limited now as the rays of dawn streak across our collective consciousness, revealing every lie we have believed into being, and finally exposing the foundation of all lies, unworthiness, for the thief of joy and freedom and peace that we are.